Hey guys, welcome back to the Pogo Reborn channel. We are back with another episode of Battle Brothers. This is the Battle Hounds, and they have stuck some hounds on top of these stakes inside of this free people's camp. You know what? I have a feeling this camp is not so free of people. Uh, I did end up making this change a second ago, but there we go. Perfect. I was thinking about who was going to come in next, and I figured we need a little bit of firepower. They do have... Let's see if we can't see. We were able to see it a second ago. Yeah, so free mar few marksmen. Of course, that's the real danger here. You know, of course, the brigand raiders can pose a big threat, but the main threat, threat is the, the brigand marksmen. No, but the brigand marksmen are really the danger here. Let's dive right on in, guys. I want to get rolling in this episode. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the last episode. I've been thinking a lot about what had happened on the channel there. Uh, and I do apologize. I don't know what the response is going to be, if there's any response. But, uh, yeah, it just um, really bugged me the other day uh, going through all that stuff. So, um, yeah, today's a new day. We're going to play it out that way. So, you bastards. Now, see, that's not terrible. At least we're dealing with the bow, the actual uh, bows here. What are they called? The long bows or whatever. Gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh my gosh. Uh, why don't we go... I want to be able to kind of shoot in on that side, but I got this feeling that... Okay, I could rotate, though. Why don't we do that? We'll rotate in. Man, out of, out of, out of sheer luck, if we were to swing the axe and hit his head... Oh my gosh. <coughs> nice. Sweet. Um, we could end up moving in. Uh, the main thing is, is I'm looking at the pole arm. It's funny, Pugo Redemption was talking about that. Is it doesn't matter what, where, who, or what you're facing, pole arms are always noticed, and that is by all means true. I need to use that more, that that tactic more though. Is just rotating the the back line in for that insta shot because either way they're gonna move up and do one of those numbers. I'm gonna move up just a little bit closer and then we'll go in dom. Protect the archer. Protect the archer, you fools. No, but we'll move up to the tree now. Again, the main problem is this guy. I wish I could... When's he going? He's going very last. So that's perfect. It's just shield wall for now. Uh, hopefully... No, we didn't quite get it, but... <clears throat> we still have a few more... Oh, yeah. Headshot, baby. And actually, he's got no health. Gray's neck, he's dead after this next turn. He's going to be able to take at least one shot on us. So let's just tank it up a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, we'll take one shot. There we go. Get into the health. There he is. Oh, my gosh. He... Oh. Come on now. Take it up, Ozzy. Need you to do something here, my man. Let it happen. Please tell me he gets to attack first. Okay, that's a fair shot. I like it. So he's going to go through his own motion there. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, we just do not have the accuracy right now to... I mean, aim shot is my best bet. And it missed. Okay, at least we took on... <laughs> took on that. That's alright. Let him die. Oh, man. Yes. It shall happen. We're gonna have to move in. I do want to take out the shields. If we take out the shields, we're gonna be in a... Oh, shoot. I should have gone that way. Dang it, that's what I was hoping to do, actually. But here we are. Well, he's gonna go two spaces in. Why don't I... I'm gonna just get up on him for a second here. Knock him out. Nice. I mean, we do have a little bit of a surround there on him. Uh, no, we missed. Okay, oh. No, that's fine. That's fine. Expose him. Let him know that we know. We know too much. <laughs> no, they know too much. Come on now, guys. So I'm hoping for a little bit of an improvement here through this episode. Of course, every episode's that way, but you gotta believe. You gotta believe it's gonna work out. Everything's gonna work out in the end. Thank you. That's actually a great debuff. Let's get rid of the shield. Make it easier for our boys. Nice. He's totally exposed. Totally gonna go down. Like, totally. 
Uh, so his turn's over. He's not going to be able to do anything else. What do we do? No. Okay, Pierce Cheek. I don't know why I was thinking he had a different debuff. But we will take it. Take rid of, get rid of his shield. Again, exposed him. Dead. Let's go. You know, I probably should have ran in with him. Because, yeah, that's the only issue. He just does not have the range to move. Okay, well, this is... Ah, yep. There we go. Better. Yes. Well, that worked out just fantastic. They're all panicking now. Yes, run for your life. Ooh. Um... I, I'm gonna do an aim shot. If we get a head shot here... Nope. Didn't happen. Well worth a shot at least it was worth going for it um let's go up on the hill here very good um yeah so guys i'm gonna be honest with you guys i you know i'm still kind of torn up about just everything uh just i i'm not but i am i don't know it's hard to explain i want if you guys don't already know if you didn't see it in the last episode after the first part I just, I let things get to my head a little bit too much with the whole, uh, just how people were saying that, you know, they think it's just, I'm doing the content for, like, I'm lying about early access. I tell you this right now, like, that would be the biggest mistake ever. I couldn't even imagine somebody doing that. And if for some reason, like I, like I say, if at the end of the day, if something was to happen where, I don't know why I'm still chasing these guys, it's over with. But if, if at the end of the day, if for some reason I did not have, like I wasn't granted the early access or something happened, then I would, um, I would totally release all the emails and stuff, like to show the proof. Uh, but it's just been weighing a lot on me because, you know, I I don't know how to prove besides people coming forward and saying yes, I did give the game away or whatever. Not that I need to, but yeah, I just I've letting it get get too far into my head. And that's exactly what that's exactly what people want, you know, uh, people that disagree with the channel. But I hope you guys are enjoying everything. I've had such good feedback in the past, and I hope that that's, you know, still the case. I hope that things are still great for everybody. Everybody's enjoying everything here. Um, and I'm sorry to anybody who feels like I am, uh, like doing something wrong, I guess, or if it's annoying to you, I guess. I, I don't, I'm not sorry, but I am. Like, I don't, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, honestly. It's gotten too far in the brain. So, anyways, we're gonna move forward either way. We shall continue this campaign, strong as ever. Hoping that we come across some amazing brothers. We're not buying that. Um, why don't we, <clears throat> it feels like the orc invasion, or the, um, the green skin invasion. It feels like it's all over with, honestly. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to press. I pressed that too many times. How much are we can pay paid here? Two days northeast. Man, if we had it as lucky as it was in the last episode, that was insane. See, now that is more like definitely two days. What? Why are you pissed at me? Threatening? Oh my gosh. Mistakes were made. Run! <laughs> that was really weird. I think it's because I, I quit that quest and they're like, nah. -uh -uh. And that's not how that works. You don't quit. We make you quit. <laughs> we tell you when it's time to quit. Um. Okay. So I could end up going a little more melee. I don't think that that's... Man, if only the resolve was higher. Uh, we could go... Yeah, we'll go with the initiative there. And then we already have Overwhelm all take, taken care of. I could go with Killing Frenzy. I feel like that would be pretty positive for this character. Um, what else here? I don't need Steel Brow. Why don't we go... Berserk is good, too, for these. I mean, especially for him getting an extra shot plus with all the fatigue that we're rolling up i guess i didn't need to get that extra fatigue but yeah i'm gonna go with the uh, berserk and then the next level i'll go probably killing frenzy 
I guess, looking back on it, yeah, I probably should have gone with the footwork. But maybe fortified mind. It's not that I want to go that route, but really, 31 is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. I hate it. It is what it is. Okay. So again, your mama. <laughs> He's... Oh, gosh, man. I don't know. I Part of me wants to go this range defense here, but that melee skill. We got a star here, so we're going to end up getting higher rolls on range anyways. Let's go with that melee skill. I want to get it to 80. 80 is always my... That's where I want to be when I'm doing this. So quick hands is a big deal, and so is Pathfinder. Right now, I'm going to venture and say Pathfinder... Because there's going to come a time where he needs to get moving, and he's not going to be able to. Now, we do have a few level ups. We got 10, 11, technically 11, 2 and 11. So, I'm thinking we go, we're going to have to go with, if we want to go heavy gear, that's fine. Then, then we're going to go, if we go brawny, then we're going Battleforge. Now, we could skip brawny altogether, <clears throat> make him more of a nimble type character. Again, we're looking at a mastery, so cleaver mastery. So it'd be nimble, cleaver mastery, and then we could go. Where are we at with this character here? We could go. Uh, really, I like with bags and belts recover, especially because a lot of the abilities that you do otherwise are fatigue intensive. So yeah, there's that. We might do that if we go this route. But otherwise, battle forge. I think we're gonna have a chance to do this. Let me know what you guys think about that, Yo Mama. Uh, I'm trying to remember the who ended up. Uh, telling or <clears throat> wanting this character let me know what you want to do with that i think it's a good deal but i mean if you if you have a different idea for your character by all means i am all about it all about listening to that let's move over some of these guys we'll get peak assist back in here we'll spread out our our heavy hitters here okay all right continuing onwards I'm thinking about taking on these brigands. What I really want is I want to find a... Oh, there's got to be a fort around here or something. Oh. 15th mile. Let's go with Hagen. Starshoot. What is going on here? Oh, I thought that would be more of a morale boost. Everybody's just... Ah, they're just living their lives. We should, we should probably go and have them drink. Unfortunately, uh, that would mean... Drunkard would be procked on. Not my favorite. Could use some better armor. We've talked about that in the past. Uh, one of the things that I found is actually really surprising. I So let's just say we went with a reinforced male halberd, or halberd. Um I could get a, a an attachment that is... So 4 fatigue, otherwise 40 durability. You put 40 durability on this. At 250 that's 30 max fatigue if you look over here that's one less yeah my math is right okay I was going crazy there so 30 fatigue it's two fatigue less almost the same as a, a cell swords armor uh, so you're I mean you're splitting hairs kind of with that but it is an option another thing too with these uh, basic male shirts if we get the fours they are way more beneficial uh, for uh, one of adding a four set armor on top of this would end up putting a 155 compared to the male hauberk of 150 at 18 fatigue. This would only be 16, so it'd be it's better to put attachments on guys, and it's a, and it's cheaper as well. Because um, usually you come across these things. That's what my point with not going out and simply buying this and then th buying an $800 thing. At that point, you might as well buy the the uh, male hauberk. But if you can swing it you already are going to get these in combat and then you get that so then you can add that to it thinking about selling those got so many good selling goods here let's go to the hiring pool the problem the raiders ah it's just too much it's too much money don't want to blow money like we did in the last episode it's not the end of the world but man part of me really wants to get this we need to upgrade I know we can get better prices than 27. Are we almost allied with these guys? What's the deal here? Let's go to our uh, relations table here. 
Not allied with them, obviously. So allied with Grubenheim. I remember looking at this. We weren't that great in some of these categories in terms of being friends with some of these guys. See, like this? Yeah, that's right. I think we were trying to become friends with one of you guys here. I know you have an armory somewhere. Weaponsmith, very friendly. Or friendly, not very, but Grunfrost or Frost is another one. Bergenborg, that's the city. So yeah, that really we're we're until we can start getting into those contracts, we're kind of at a we're kind of at a standstill. So this might be our best option here for armor. Why don't we get at least one of these? And we'll throw it on somebody. The question is who? Who is worthy of this armor? Uh well, obviously, I want it to be a frontliner. I'm just worried about the fatigue side of it. So, like, if we went like that, yeah, 69 fatigue. But the armor is pretty dang good. Uh, Oliver could probably swing it. Yep. Mangy, Mangy can swing it. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad one. All right, what else do we have? Ozzy. I got you as a backup, dude, and I'm gonna give you some serious armor. Yo, Mama will definitely overcome it with uh, the next two level ups. That wouldn't be bad. We're just not a very heavy fatigue intensive group. Uh, I could go with Nick, Nick wearing it, and then throw this on a frontliner here. That would make a little more sense. So yeah, Aegon would have more armor. trying to think here then who would take this over man it just that's silly that's right well we're getting closer to them being on the front line technically Jolton Fang could do it Nick Farrell's getting closer and Thorax is definitely one that could but the problem is again his melee skill I want to be higher we're just man it's just such an awkward spot right now for our brothers but we'll get there. It sucks because most of our best armor is on the back line. It kind of defeats the purpose here. Only but kinda. No, it definitely defeats the purpose. So what did we actually gain out of that, though? Man, we really need some... Hmm. I, yeah, we're not gonna buy any more there. Let's let's just continue here. Maybe we'll come across some brothers. I'm happy that we have that. We just need to get our back line leveled up. That's all. That's really what it comes down to. Once we get those two handers on the front line, or even like the sergeant idea I was talking about in the last episode, if we can get to that, that'll that'll be vastly better for the group. Ooh, that's a really good price for a witch hunter. You know what? I'm gonna do it. If I can just get lucky with one of these guys, I've gotten so lucky in the past. Okay, well, that's not great. Admittedly, that's not great. Duh. Um. Let me. Uh. The. I'm conflicted as to how good we're actually looking at here. So it's two to four. It's two to four in terms of the, the actual jump in range, which is not good. Even at 46 or 48, let's just assume that it's 30, right? So we're gonna be pushing just about 80 in terms of our uh, range skill. And to me, that's not great. I mean, it, I don't think anybody would say that that's that great. If we're, that's assuming that we get that high. I mean, realistically, it could still be low rolls and us never get there. I think I'm gonna say no to this character again. That sucks. I mean, I really the uh, witch hunters have just not been the same lately. I have not gotten lucky. Oh, we're just gonna buy another one. Let's see what happens. We're gonna buy some of these cheaper brothers. Yeah, again, another character that just isn't there. Okay, well, that's okay. For a thousand crowns, not exactly what I was hoping to do, but we'll make it work. 
I'm glad we ended up buying the armor over there in the last town. It, a little bit more beneficial for us. Let's continue to go north here. We'll get over to Grunfrost. Hopefully come across a... Man, a camp would be really nice. If we could just get one more good camp. Oh, there we go. There's some orc feet running across the prairie. <laughs> Freaking orcs. Oh, I love orcs. I really do. I think they're... I think they're awesome, but I'd be lying if I said they weren't a pain in the butt. However, they are pretty cool. Get rid of all this stuff here and all. Stuff we don't need anymore. Okay, so that, this is better. That's definitely better. I'm not going to sell these yet. Still want to get it. I mean, I've seen it over 400. If we go over 400 plus a little bit of emergency fund, we can call it as well. You never know. We come across something good. We'll take advantage of it. We got a three-star... A three skull, three star. Wow, 5,000 crowns, seven days south. Wow. I mean, it is seven days. What are we looking at crowns now? So, that's interesting. If we ended up going and we took this quest, it would take about half the crowns away from us. So it'd be 2,500 crowns. Yes, I did. I did have to pull up the calc. <laughs> Want to make sure we're doing that right. I'm okay with, I'm okay with taking it, for the most part. That's a hell of a chunk of change, even if it is 2,500. Yes, it is seven days. So we are losing that time. But where the? Well, hold up a second here. Where would we be going again? The question is, where would we be ending up? Caravan to Wokstad, or Wickstad. I'm almost 100% positive it's this guy, yeah. So here's what would happen, right? We would take this road all the way down, it would swing all the way up, then out and around. I feel like that, as great as that sounds in terms of cash flow, it's not. <laughs> Who knows what we'd come across is the thing. I'm a little tempted to go over here, but I I know that last time it was just something out of our, out of our reach. Wow, okay, so many or goblin or ambushers some some ambushers on top of that part of me likes the idea of taking this on so, just wondering here for the sake of archers I feel like that would be more that would make more sense uh, why don't we why don't we do it we're winning only slightly. And I, it sucks. I mean, I hope that hope that we can change that. Yeah, we just don't have the we, we don't have the range skill to really take on the art. Man. Not having archers, guys. That's really the deal. Uh-oh. I'm a little worried about our buddy there, Picasus. Oh, Picasus. We gotta get you some kills. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to orchestrate some of that. Get it? Orchestrate? <laughs> Makes too much sense. Let's go. Okay. Well, the easier targets would be the Orc Young, especially exposed. And he's kind of a cakewalk, honestly. Uh, we could move forward too, give our archer a better chance. We take Feral, put him in front. Not the way to do this. The archers are just a pain right now. I can see that being our biggest issue. Well, I'm just gonna wait, I guess. We don't have Indom too. Oh, geez, as I say that, we come across Indom. I'm gonna let that one sw slide. Okay. Let her roll. They're going after him. I just don't see 19% chance. Six, five. Yeah, that was a waste. That's good. You keep throwing those javelins, my friend. Keep throwing them javelins. Oh, yeah, my team. All right. Gonna wait. Come on at us, bruh. Easy enough. Nice. Even if we get them to run, that's fine. I, this is a fight that I just want to get out the way, really. I don't know why I said it like that. It almost sounded like I was about to <laughs> start singing a song. 
Get out the way. Yeah. We all know what comes next. Yeah, keep it up. Wow, that was a fantastic shot. I'm surprised. With this morale being as low as it is, I'm very surprised that didn't work out more. Oh, oh, Pegasus. Oh, it's happening all over again. Just gonna get rid of the shield. Okay. That's fantastic. That's a really good deal. Hmm. Now, part of the problem, too, is we do have to get in front of him. Oh, gosh, he is... Oh, man. Be nice if he survives. <laughs> if he survives, that's going to be fantastic. But We need to defend him as best as possible. Now, the fear is this. The Orc Young is going to do a jump in. Oh, gosh. Peek assist. Dang it, Peek assist. Ah. Oh. Gosh, dang it. Well, it looks like we're going to get you another character. That is not working. <laughs> that did not... Oh, dang it. I didn't even see this guy. What the hell? Puggo, what is going on? Gosh, darn it. <sighs> it's so frustrating. That is very frustrating. Well... Stupid uh, ambushers. This is why it ended up making my top ten. There we go. That is exactly it right there. They are very potent, especially at this point in the game. Ever so evident. I dread them. I thought I could just go in and give them the business. Not quite the case. And our archer just is not good enough. Unless I'm focus firing. Yeah, it's just not the case. Okay. Start moving towards them. Hopefully scare them off. It's funny how most of the time when you scare them off, it's it's always too late. It's like that one... If you had one more turn, you could have saved your brother. Could have, should have, and would have. Didn't happen. Take him down. Alright. So now they should be running at this point. From this point on. Nice. Now the problem is he's got that dag. He's gonna... Oh, okay, good. That actually worked out pretty well. I will take it. I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, you just defend for now. Just in case some tomfoolery happens here. Oh, Walter. How we need better archers. I sh I guess I haven't... I, I, well, admittedly, I haven't put a lot of effort into getting new archers. So there is that. It's over. Yep, peak assist. Oh, man. Well, don't worry about that. At least we will get another brother. Unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, I was hoping that we would get another... Oh, jeez, yeah, everybody's all like, oh my gosh. He shouldn't have died. No, he shouldn't have died. That's too bad. I didn't have to go against them, and I did. I chose the ladder. It wasn't the ladder. That's actually not the right reference, even. Okay. Um, what are we trying to do here? I'm happy with some of these guys. We just gotta level up, guys. We gotta get to the next spot. So close. These guys are literally just backups at the moment. Let's go like that for now. Again, we'll just spread out. Spread them out a little bit. We do have some of that armor back, which is kind of nice. It's nice, but it's not. You know, I'd rather have our brother back, but... Um, what are we doing here? What are we going to do? Okay. Let's keep rolling. I'm not going to do that quest. All right. Well, he doesn't have any negative traits. I'm going to just hire him because we really need an archer. Okay. 
Okay, that's fair. That is fair. If I'm correct, that's three. That's going to be... Let me just check here. I think it's three to four. It is three to four. So three to four. You know, at the top end, we get 80. On the low end, we get 30. It's still not great. Gosh, it's still not great. Or no, I'm sorry. No, it is four. It is a solid four. No, so it is 40. So 86. We need a range. We need range. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna fight any more of that than just saying, stating that much. Um, we do have the bow ready for him. I do need a helm of some sort. I wish I wouldn't have sold that cough there a second ago. But this is, uh, I mean, a little bit of positive. A little bit of positive. If we take that back from you, 93 crowns, sure. Sure, I will front that. Okay. Now, you are a bit of a priority now, my friend. I need you to... You're going to be a... It almost might be smarter just to go with the throwing axes for him, friend, you know? Kind of like the Hagen idea. Um... Dang it, nobody going to shoot at Hagen. Hagen's the man. I like Hagen. I actually really do like Hagen. I think he's awesome. Let's kind of, again, we're going to have to pick our battles here. Let's go north now. 19 barbarians. Wow. Sounds like fun. Actually, that might be a good fight for us. That might be the one we're looking for here. Nick Farrell's about to level up. Thorax is going to need a bit here. Why don't we pull Thorax out? Uh... If you're about to level up, I gotta keep you in here. Vasily's gonna take a little bit to get get on par. Uh, Jolton. Well, you need to come in here either way. Jolton's fine. I have the throwing axe deal here. I'm gonna go with a different polearm, brother. Gotta make this work. So. Okay, some barbarians, many reavers. I'd rather face... A plethora <laughs> engage oh boy okay well let's check this out 30 Wow now here's the here's the kicker dogs I this will be the first time we reload if this doesn't work but we do not have the right brothers in here I can totally see this going straight to hell so here we go folks Get ready. Yeah, we can't run from the dogs is the problem. As much as I would love to get out of here, they have got us pinned. In fact, we'll be kind of stuck in a loop even. Unless we put... There is a way to get out of this. But it's going to take us losing some brothers. Ah, things are just... <laughs> this is just going swimmingly. Holy cow. Now, the biggest problem is, any, I mean, yeah, sure, we got all these thralls. That's whatever. The real issue is everything else. It's all these reavers here. So far, I only see six reavers, which is actually kind of nice. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's going to be an arch or arrows. I might have to just focus shot here. Let's go like this. Not much we can really do. Luckily, we can repost a lot of this stuff. I mm, could go in Dom here. I'm gonna actually vote against it at the moment. So I'm gonna go take this. I'm gonna try to make that work. Again, shield. Oof. Oof, duh. This is quite the deal, folks. Quite the deal. Can we do it? That is the question. We can We can definitely hit the morale checks. We can try. Oh, issue. Armor's messed up pretty bad there. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
My turn? <laughs> this is some ultra late stuff here going on. Okay, that's gonna be an easy kill for someone else. We missed. Hang on. Okay, where do we prioritize here? What do I prioritize? I mean, there's that. I know Jolt and Fang can <clears throat> probably get a shot here. My thought is let's get his armor down. There we go. Morale checks on the dog is starting to happen. Or dogs. Yeah, I need to stop doing that. Good. There's that kill. Dogs would be really nice to get rid of, but to that point, I'm gonna. Oh, that dog was running. Dang it. Okay. Shield wall. Get ready. Dang it. Come on. Alright. Alright, well, that's eight. <clears throat> that's eight of them. Oh, we're gonna lose somebody. I mean, even if we do win this out, we're gonna lose someone. We got. I mean, I'd be shocked if we didn't lose Ozzy, for instance. But that leaves Walter in the worst position yet. Okay, good job tanking. I'm just waiting for them to rotate in and do absolute devastating damage. Bound to happen here. Okay, I really need you to hit something here. Thank you. Okay, next. This side, we actually are clearing out fairly well. It's the south that's really the problem right now. Uh, I'm really not worried so much about him. There we go. All right, who can we hit? Get our for sure shots here. Thank you. Even if you die, make your time here worthwhile, please. Okay. They're, they're going to run either way. Uh, I'm going to take a shot, and then... You know what? I'm just going to take two shots. I mean, it sucks, but... I'm going to wait. Shield wall... And I was hoping for that kill. All right. Just please tank up a little bit longer before you're going to die. As much as I don't want him to die, uh, that's kind of the situation we're in. The only other thing I can think of is us coming down here. No, I'm going to just wait. Just going to end our turn there. Guys, there's a chance here. I mean, I don't know how we end up out here, but that's 30 opponents. However many dogs, we got a bunch of reaver or six reavers. The reavers are going to be devastating here with their uh, with their axes here. However, we could get a lucky shot. I'm okay with losing him. As much as I technically don't want to, I'm okay with it. Um, we're gonna wait a second. Okay, just one of the reavers. Oh, I should have taken out a shield. I just noticed that. Okay, now. Can we get lucky? Just our biggest obstacle. Obstacle, it's clear as day. I'm gonna try to tank out some of this. We get a headshot, guys. Okay, that is still pretty good. Can I wait? I don't want to, but... Oh, you missed that. Get him out of here. Whew. Okay. Oh, okay. 
I'm okay with that. Just please don't lose your lose sight here. Really? That's what you wanted to do? A little questionable. Here we go. Oh, Jolton Fang. No, it ain't right. Nice shot. Okay, good. We got two guys running. Come on, buddy. You cheese. Ah. Oh. Crap. Oh man, I'm putting mangy. Mangy's like not happening, not again. Oh boy. Oh, you bad mother hummer. I'm sorry. Excuse me, guys. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so I'm going to venture and go this way. Oh, they're starting to run. They're starting to run. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Come on. It's not over yet, and I understand it. We still have a big obstacle here. Mangy, you have to survive that hit. He should be able to, but... Oh, okay, okay. All right. Oh, let's freaking go. Now that is a bit of a revival. Hello. Goodbye. Just just hold up. Okay, good. He's going to run. He failed. Just going to get closer. Nice. Jolton. Show him what's up, buddy. Show him what's up. Let's end on a good note. Goodbye. Dial up right there. It is over. That is what I'm talking about. That showed a lot of grit. We had guys, granted, we did lose this guy here, Jan uh, Janold. Janold. But look at everything else. Jolton Fang straight up took it right to the face, man. Let's go. That is insane. That is so good. I honestly thought, man, I don't see us. I don't see how we come out of this alive. That's gonna be clear as day about it. I did not see it coming. I did not see that working. Dang. Okay. Holy crap! I am so proud of this freaking group. And he. Oh, I thought he got two level ups. I'm like, well. And there you have it, folks. Yeah, I am very, very proud of this group very proud of that that was a huge accomplishment i i honestly did not see it i did i just didn't see it coming that way so i'm gonna go like this gifted this brother here is showing a lot of promise uh i don't know that we should go the resolve way here let me just double check here my chart so yeah with no stars it's three to five every time, so that doesn't make any sense for us to do that. Uh, hit points, that's a really good jump, but I think, honestly, you can't go wrong with defense. We're going to get our range defense here. And again, health or hit points. I just don't foresee this brother having a lot of fatigue. So maybe we do make, we kind of fill out that nimble aspect, which does... Uh, apply that uh the hit points hmm yeah i think with that we're gonna still get the range defense i'm gonna go with hit points and we're gonna hope that he survives going forward nick farrell big news here for him he is making some sweet strides as well uh more fatigue i just am surprised by that he's really taking on the heavy armor and at 128 it's kind of it just feels a little bizarre but it is amazing uh, he definitely needs the resolve. But that range defense is nonetheless mattering right now. He's got only a few level ups left. We go with the range defense for right now. I don't know if that's the best option. Indomitable is coming. I think for now, the thing that is most benefited by him would be Berserk being able to do extra hits. Jolton Fang, you can take a break. Our guys are just going through the mode. There's going to be so many drunkards coming out of this. <laughs> just just wait and watch. I'm just saying. Uh, what else? Man, they did such a good job. I'm very surprised. Our group, like, really outshined. Really outshined. 
hands. Who else has really good defense yet? So like your mama would be one that could handle that shield better. I'm actually gonna give that back to him. I know Aegon, you had it last, but his Aegon's looking pretty stout. He's looking pretty good right now. I'm gonna keep it as is. And I'll keep him with the sword as well. I almost feel like where he's at, if if what if we did make him a we still have time to do it. We could make him a sword duelist. I mean, we get a good, a really solid sword. Even if we had to, for the for the time being, made him a Zweihander, uh, this would be still be really nice. Either way, go duelist. We still have the perks to accompany him, and that way we're not blowing through all the fatigue and giving him better armor. As you can see, that's pretty solid. Let alone, what else here? We would go duelist, what else? And Dom, well, how many, we got eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 and a half, we'll call it with this extra perk that we're gonna get with student. So yeah, I mean, we could definitely, uh, we definitely are gonna get some of that fatigue up higher. We could go in Dom, we could go duelist, we could go with the sword mastery perk. Just really need that melee defense. We're just going to have to see how it goes. We can still do a lot of these things without getting duelists just yet. If we decide not to do that, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that falls. But either way, man, I'm so happy, guys. I really was feeling like we we were on this, the, the wrong end of that whole fight. Obviously, that's not, that's not hard to see why, right? But it's... What a freaking awesome deal though what an awesome deal to see your guys come out of it and mangy man he tanked out that last part jolton got hit but man he took it right on the chin and kept moving that was like just a brutal brutal what could have been a brutal ending all right what do we got here now do we have any good prices oh what what oh what <laughs> are you kidding me are you kidding me? A hedge knight at this price? Am I crazy? I don't think I've ever seen a hedge knight that low. I don't think I've ever seen a hedge knight that low. Now here's the real question. What can we sell our goods for? Okay, we can sell that. Oh yeah, we can sell a lot of this stuff. Uh, we can find these guys anywhere. and We'll find them all over the map. If we really want to look, we can find these two. Oh, y'all know what's going to happen. No doubt. I am making plans. We've got a lot to sell here. And we can get those anywhere, really. I'm going to hold on to the Warbrand. That might be a good starting sword for Aegon. We can get these just about anywhere as well. Making money, making, making money. Get that anywhere, whatever. The stuff, we don't need it. We don't need it. Holy bucket nuts, man. <laughs> Guys, we're about to get our hedge knight. I can't believe this episode just took a bomb and then came right back out of the toilet. I'm just saying, it's, what the hell? That is amazing. We could use another basic mail. I'm gonna actually get that. Get rid of this thing, cause we're gonna have an extra one anyways. Uh, the reason is because of Ulrich. I want Ulrich to, Ulrich to have a little bit different armor, better armor. Mangy, we can get you back in here. You are still distraught over everything, huh? I guess two people died. This character does not serve a great purpose. I. It's only been it's only level two, but I'm gonna get rid of him. Yeah, sorry. See ya. We just got done talking to him about how, yeah, you know, I want to make a difference in my life. And get the hell out of her. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what just happened there. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Our tanky boy, get out of here. Okay, folks. Here we go. Hedge Knight. Alvar. Oh, please don't be trash. Please don't be trash. I mean, we're really getting a great price at the end of the day. Okay, here we go. 
Hedge Knight is kind of trash. You know, for what it's worth, stat-wise, where he's at... Yeah, we can find other brothers like this, unfortunately. We did pay, sadly, more... Well, let's see what the level up start is. Okay, 70 off the bat. Not much more in the fatigue category. Part of me wants to take this. I'm going to go with the melee defense. Uh, yeah, we'll go with resolve here. Let's get that resolve up a little bit. Pick and choose, folks. All right, so unfortunately, he's not above, like, really high up. However, we can get his skill up to 80 at least. He's going to be a real solid frontliner. If we can get the defense high enough, the fatigue's going to have to be what it is. Uh, when we take it off, we I mean, there's other brothers in the game that can... They can match that, but yeah, I'm not going to split hairs too much here. It's a, he's a good brother. He's going to be fine. I just, you know, when you get a Hedge Knight, you're hoping for more. The only thing is we're going to be spending a lot on him. At least he loves to kill green skins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't have high enough armor dude, to do that. And finally the sword. So that's, uh, that's where he's at. I'm going to go with Student. Level them up quicker. Gosh, Dan, that is just unfortunate, but fortunate. It's a tough one to really balance out. But the nice thing is, guys, at the end of the day, you think about 2,000 crowns for a two-handed wing mace. And for what he is, the, the problem, the only problem I have with this brother in terms of long term is the price tag. I mean, he's going to cost us a lot of money. And it almost feels like we could have gone with, for instance, the Militia Men at cheaper price. And maybe have gotten just as good as stats. There's a chance. So, armor. It's always worth looking. Alright, let's see what they got going on here otherwise. Fighting Greenskins, go figure. Marauding Greenskins, let's accept this. Where's it at? We'll go down to Grunfrost, or towards Grunfrost. And right before we get into combat here, we'll call it a day. That was one hell of a fight right there. That is a memorable battle site. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. It Wow, what a freaking roller coaster this one has been. Uh, hopefully we can end this green skin invasion. It is coming around. Uh, we went south. We pissed off a town. We went north. We found a hedge knight. He wasn't that great, but whatever. Uh, the fact is we killed. We went out took on 30 different... 30 guys. Granted, there was a lot of thralls, and I get it, but there was still a lot of danger in the process of being overwhelmed, so very proud of this group for what it's worth. All right, thanks for coming out to the channel, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!